This is your News 4 update, powered by the Bomarito Automotive Group. Good morning, I'm Marissa Holloway, and here are some of the stories making headlines. A truck, look at this, ended up in a giant hole left from a water main break this morning. This is on Lindell at Union. The driver of the truck is okay. Crews had to use a backhoe to lift the truck out. News 4 plans on asking the street department if proper barricades were installed. Breaking overnight, one person is dead after a shooting on I-70 just north of downtown. Homicide detectives shut down eastbound lanes for several hours overnight to investigate. Police say two people were shot near Tucker. Our crews saw a van riddled with bullet holes. The driver was shot dead inside. Police say the other victim suffered a graze wound to the hand. Then a man and woman were shot just after 2.30 this morning on Plymouth near Hamilton. That's just west of Goodfellow. Police tell News 4 the man died at the scene. The woman was conscious when she was taken to the hospital. Police aren't saying what led up to the shooting. It was a violent night in the city. A total of 10 people were shot since 8 last evening. The two latest shootings were both double shootings. The first two triple shootings. The first happened at the Family Dollar near Cass and Spring in North St. Louis. The other happened on Minnesota and South St. Louis. If you have any information about any of these shootings, you're being asked to call Crime Stoppers. Right now, let's check in with Ken. It's a really hot day ahead for us. Yeah, unfortunately, a couple of hot days, uh, much like what we had yesterday, unfortunately, but a heat advisory has been issued now. It starts at 11 o'clock this morning and runs through 7 o'clock this evening. The high today, 94, would match yesterday's high and put the heat index in excess of 100 degrees, hence the heat advisory. Light winds aren't going to push these thunderstorms around very much, so when they do form during the afternoon, they're not going to move much. So heavy rain where it does rain, although most of you don't see any rain today. Uh, but that will be the case again this afternoon like it was yesterday. The locally heavy downpours, a lot of lightning, potentially destructive winds as well. Pretty much the same story tomorrow. The difference being this extends into the evening and overnight hours tomorrow. So you see the thunderstorms forming in the afternoon and evening and even a line of them that are migrating. So these are movers now. Now we're not seeing that uh, sitting still. We're seeing these storms rolling through and some of those could be quite strong overnight. So we're looking at tomorrow a severe threat a marginal severe threat, level one on a scale of five, the lowest obviously. Also today, unfortunately, ozone levels are into the orange range, so uh, that's unhealthy for sensitive health groups, the chronically ill, the elderly, and those with respiratory ailments. So a weather alert day today between the heat and the storms and the ozone, and then tomorrow we still have the heat advisory and the risk of severe storms, so another weather alert day. Could have to extend that to Friday because we're expecting some scattered storms then as well. Although we back off the temperatures a little bit, that should help as we head into the weekend.